Welcome to Minister Fit. Our mission is to be a liaison and echo the words from the professionals and give you, our subscribers, some sort of insight. This information contained in this video is of general nature and does not constitute medical advice. Talk to your doctor for your individual circumstances. This week's topic will be fibromyalgia. <laughs> Welcome back to Minute to Fit. Now let's get started on fibromyalgia. Fibromyalgia is often misdiagnosed and misunderstood. It has a wide range of signs and symptoms that mimic several other illnesses. Fibromyalgia is a disorder that causes widespread muscle, bone, and nerve pain. It also affects your sleep, memory, and causes chronic fatigue and mood issues. Researchers believe that fibromyalgia increases painful sensations by affecting the way your brain processes pain signals from your nerves. Researchers also believe that repeated nerve stimulation causes the brain of people with fibromyalgia to change and increase certain chemicals in the brain that signal pain called the neurotransmitters. The brain's pain perception develop memory of the pain and they become sensitive, triggering an overreaction to pain signals. Fibromyalgia symptoms. Individual symptoms can differ from one person to another. Some people experience certain symptoms on a regular basis. For some people, the pain comes and goes. Symptoms can vary from hour to hour, day to day in intensity and may improve or worsen over time. You can wake up feeling okay, but as the day progresses, you begin to feel a great deal of pain. Widespread pain is chronic pain throughout the body, especially the back, neck, and shoulder. Muscle spasms, irritation and pain as the muscle clenches and unclenches on its own headaches or migraines, intense pressure or throbbing in the head, rebound pain, pain caused by increased activities because you're having a good day and you end up doing too much, irritable bowel syndrome, irritation of the bowel, causing diarrhea, constipation, and excessive gas, increased sensitivity, changes in the brain make you feel more sensitive to pain, bright lights, smoke, and certain foods over time, pin and needle sensations, Nerves causing tingling sensation in the hands and feet, feeling like pins and needles. Forgetfulness, forgetting everyday things like where you put your keys or losing your train of thought, having slow or confused speech. Fiber fog is the inability to concentrate easily, confused, lack of motivation, unable to learn, focus, pay attention, or remember things. Balance and coordination. Clumsiness, trouble keeping your balance and maintaining coordination. Fatigue, constant exhaustion and feeling extremely tired no matter how much sleep you get. Emotional sensitivity. Some emotional reactions get stronger, tempers flare, irritability increases. Some have less control over how they express their emotions. You go from happy to angry in a minute or less. Fibromyalgia risk factors. You are more at risk if you are a woman or if you have someone in your family with it. You are more at risk for fibromyalgia if you have arthritis, lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, or any type of autoimmune disease. You have a mood disorder like anxiety or depression. You're more at risk if you're physically or mentally abused as a child or an adult. You're more at risk if you rarely exercise. You're more at risk if you have a viral infection like herpes simplex one, which is basically cold sores. Fibromyalgia flares. Every activity can seem more difficult when fibromyalgia pain flares up. Pain associated with fibromyalgia tends to fluctuate and worsen. Flare-ups can happen with or without warning. Flare-ups is when symptoms temporarily increase in numbers and intensity. A flare-up can last anywhere from a few days to weeks or months at a time. Life stressors or stressful events may trigger a flare-up, changes in your diet, hormonal imbalance, schedule change, weather change, treatment ineffective, physical or psychological stress. All of those things can make you have a flare-up. Fibromyalgia diagnosis. In the past, doctors would check 18 specific points on a person's body to see how many of them were painful when pressed firmly. Doctors are no longer required to give that 18 point check. Fibromyalgia diagnosis can be made if you have no underlying medical conditions that will cause widespread pain. The doctor will examine you. They will ask about your symptoms, your medical history, and your family's medical history. There is no test that can tell you if you have fibromyalgia because the symptoms are so similar to other conditions. Doctors like to rule out other illnesses like underactive thyroid, arthritis, or lupus. You will more than likely have to get your blood drawn for labs so they can check your hormone levels, signs of inflammation, and you may even have to get a few x-rays done. If all of your tests come back normal, the doctor will use a two-part scoring system to measure the amount of pain you're having and how much 
do your symptoms affect your daily life? Fibromyalgia treatments. The emphasis on treatment is to decrease symptoms and improve general health. No one treatment works for all symptoms. Also, a treatment that works for one person may not work for another. Various treatments in different combinations may have to be tried before someone finds the correct plan for them. Usually, it's a blend of meds and lifestyle changes. The doctor may prescribe meds to help reduce the pain and improve sleep. Different therapies can decrease the effect that fibromyalgia has on your body and life, like physical therapy. Physical therapy can teach you exercises to increase stamina, strength, and flexibility. Occupational therapy can help you make adjustments to your work area, help you learn to perform different tasks in a way that cause less stress on your body. Counseling can help strengthen your mind and the way you think about the situation or how to deal with stress better. Fibromyalgia lifestyle changes. The first thing is to reduce stress. Avoid or limit overexertion and emotional stress. Try meditation or deep breathing exercises. Get enough sleep. Sufficient sleep is essential. Limit daytime napping. Exercise regularly. You can start off slow, gradually work your way up. It may increase your pain at the beginning, but as time goes on, it will decrease. Try walking, biking, or water aerobics. Pace yourself. Do not overdo it on your good days. Keep activity at an even level, or you may experience more bad days. Fibromyalgia alternative medications. Acupuncture restores the normal balance of life by inserting fine needles through the skin to various depths. The needles can change in blood flow, the level of neurotransmitters in the brain and spinal cord. Massage therapy. It uses different manipulative techniques to move your body's muscle and soft tissue. Massage decreases the heart rate, relaxes muscles, help relieve stress and anxiety, improves range of motion to joints, and increases production of the body's natural painkillers. Yoga and Tai Chi. Practices combine meditation, slow moving, deep breathing, and relaxation. Fibromyalgia and food. Food choices can have a great impact on daily life for people with fibromyalgia. Food can promote inflammation in the body, which makes the body pain receptors more sensitive. The body responds to these foods as if it would to an injury. Sensitivities to food may trigger symptoms. Food intolerance and problematic foods are common, but are not the same for everyone. IBS symptoms may decrease with changes in the diet. Anti-inflammatory diet can reduce the body's sensitivity to pain. Dietary changes do not have an immediate impact. Changes in the diet may not be obvious for several weeks. Foods that make symptoms worse in fibromyalgia. Sugar, reduce or eliminate sugar, like candy, pop, or yogurt. It has a huge impact on your health and it causes your pain to increase. Carbohydrates like cookies, bread, pastries, and digested fats. Make your blood sugars levels spike, and then with blood sugar spiking, you can have fatigue and pain worse. So you should eat healthy choices of wheat and keep your blood sugar at a constant level. And wheat also digests slower in the body. Stay away from processed food, sugar, and unhealthy fats, which increase inflammation. Unhealthy fats in vegetable, corn, safflower, and peanut oil have an inflammatory effect with fried foods, donuts, crackers, pizza, and cheese. You want to try to adopt a fibromyalgia friendly diet, which is healthy eating because it does not cause inflammation. It shouldn't worsen your symptoms or you sh it shouldn't have any conflict with food and sensitivities. Vegetables. Researchers found evidence that increasing intake of veggies in the diet can have a positive impact by decreasing pain. Boost omega-3s, which you can find those in salmon, tuna, spinach, and broccoli, and it helps to decrease your inflammatory effect. Eat more fiber. Beans, fruit, veggies, lentils, and brown rice are healthy choices. Switch to healthy fats. Not all fats are to be avoided. Olive oil is healthy and versatile and has been proven to improve both physical and psychological functioning. Stay away from gluten, aspartame, caffeine, dairy products, and MSG. This has been your host, Imani. Please subscribe to my channel. This channel will bring light and awareness to many health issues. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, feel free to leave me a message. Thank you.